and I will start with something I again I didn't do I didn't install any of this stuff here and something that is interesting that happened is these four panels were installed and then the the system was expanded upon with six more panels if you see one missing one of the problems that the installers ran into is that these panels are thicker than these panels by about a quarter of an inch. I don't know about, what is that, five millimeters or something? Six millimeters? But it was enough that, enough that these little securing bolts didn't rest evenly on, on both panels. So there was a, a bit of an offset here and ultimately a windstorm came in blew this panel over and destroyed that panel so it destroyed two panels obviously well unfortunately they're two different panels got these smaller ones and then we got these bigger ones here i think these are 280s and those are 320s or something like that these piers they're like 20 for 20 inch diameter and I think they're five feet deep and look how many piers there are here so this this would hold up to the end of the world winds and they did a really good job installing these mounting all this stuff um, again there's a four kilowatt wind turbine on this on this setup However, what I've done is up here, I put nine 450 watt here, built this carport, and over here I've got, I've got another 12. 450 watt bifacials on this. Now these these six for sure are getting some bifacial energy from reflected up from down below. Uh, the other six not so much. They're mounted flat on the roof, so they're not getting a lot of gain. And of course, the, the coloration difference, that was, that was all on me because uh, I didn't specify to my distributor. We put these nine on and then my client decided she wanted to add another three. And so, so those ended up being a different color, which, I don't know, you're out in the country and it's on the back side of the house, so probably not a big deal. And there's our Starlink. Yeah, I installed the Starlink too. And here's another 6250. So they, actually, this was my original upgrade. These need to be washed. And then I did the 12, and then I did another 9 here. These are 6250s. This is nine 450s or 500s, and then we got another 12, another 12 uh, 450s or 500s over there. And then we got our utility building. This is a pretty good system. We're running three uh, 12,000 BTU air conditioners. One of them is just for uh, one of them is just for this utility room. I've got it set on 80 degrees just to keep the equipment nice and cool and comfy. We've got a Sun Gold Power 6000 watt uh, 240 volt split phase. We've got three 60 amp MPPT charge controllers. This is the wind wind controller here. Here's your dump load resistor and Normally the customer's not here a lot, so we keep the 
primary wind controller off. Um, so really the wind generator is not doing much of anything ever, but it's mostly just there at this point for emergency charging. As you can see, we've got three banks, 200 amp, 12 volt series. So we got 600 amps at 54 volts here uh, of batteries. I have to do the math on that later and I'll put a text put a text up on the screen. There's a Generac. I, I don't know what the Generac is. I think it's a 22k Generac. It's on uh, propane and it's automatic. So it's got auto switch on the Generac. And I didn't install the Generac, but I have worked on it because the original installer uh, there was no solar here when they put the generac in. Same off, same off. So here's the other two, uh, the other two, uh, 12K. So you've got a 12K in that bedroom, and a 12K in that bedroom, and a 12K in the utility, uh, maintenance utility room. And those all three are always on. The two in the house are set at 77 and today it's probably 100, 105, I don't know, it's, it's not bad. It's a nice breeze, so you kind of get used to the heat, you get acclimated and you don't think about it anymore.